there are two levels of asepsis. The top level, the fully sterile approach, can only be used in areas where the environment can be fully controlled, such as in operating theatres. The second level of asepsis, used in normal hospital wards and the ambulance service, is called aseptic no-touch technique, or ANTT. The asepsis or cleanliness is achieved by not touching key areas of equipment, the patient's insertion site and any open wounds. Cannula dressing packs like this one are routinely used to achieve ANTT. The outer layer is the sterile or clean field. The blue waterproof layer should be at the bottom, helping to keep the items inside the field clean. There's a paper towel. This is not to be used as a sterile field. It can be used to protect the area where an insertion is going to take place. Also in the pack, there's a chloroprep applicator for cleaning the insertion site, a dressing swab in case there's a failed cannulation, an IV fixing, and two sticky labels, one red and one green. The aseptic or clean field should be used to hold all items that have key no-touch areas, such as cannulas, syringes, needles, and giving sets. This pack is very versatile and can be used in many situations to help to maintain ANTT, for example, in the back of the ambulance. First, get all items ready, including the sharps box. Reduce activity in the area. For instance, if you're using the BP cuff, place it on the other arm to ensure that when the aseptic clean field is open, items aren't going to fall into it or knock it over. Place the single-use tourniquet in position and palpate the vein. Find the insertion point. Now use the hand sanitizer. Open the dressing pack. and position the paper towel. Use the chloroprep to clean the insertion site. Do not repalpate the vein once you have done this. If repalpation is required, then the area will need to be cleaned again. For full protection, the chloroprep, which contains chlorhexidine, must be left to dry for 30 seconds. While it's drying, open the cannula and place it onto the aseptic clean field. Then use the hand sanitizer again and put on a clean pair of gloves. The cannula can then be inserted into the vein and the IV dressing placed on, securing the cannula. The insertion site must be visible so that it can be checked in hospital for any inflammation or phlebitis. There are two stickers in the pack to alert the hospital staff if an emergency insertion has taken place. Red is for emergency insertions, where full ANTT was not possible, in which case they need to remove the cannula and replace within 24 hours to reduce the risk of infection, as per the Department of Health guidelines. Green is for insertions where ANTT was achieved, meaning it's safe for the hospital to leave the cannula in place. So, red means remove, green 
means clean. This aseptic no-touch technique must be maintained throughout your treatment of the patient, such as when administering drugs or setting up a line. Retain the aseptic clean field. Open the giving set and place into the clean field. Close the lure lock. Open the bag of fluid or remove the seal, ensuring that the area where the point is inserted is not touched. To protect the patient, the key areas that must not be touched when setting up a line are the sharp end that goes into the fluid and the end that attaches into the cannula and the part of the bag or bottle of fluid where the sharp point goes in. Insert the point into the fluid. Run the fluid through the giving set. Ensure the patient's end of the set does not touch anything other than the inside of the clean field and the point on the giving set is not touched. Attach the giving set, making sure that it's only the key areas that touch each other. Then remove the cannula end cap. The same procedure can be used for giving drugs. Open the syringe, ensuring the key end does not touch anything. Open the drug giving port on the cannula, making sure that only the key areas come into contact with each other. So, to reiterate, the key areas that must not be touched to achieve ANTT are the patient's insertion site, both ends of the cannula, both ends of the giving set, and the end of the needles and the syringe. Wherever insertion is required, the same ANTT process can be used. However, it's widely recognised that, at times, the patient's condition dictates that an emergency insertion has to be performed due to a time-critical, life-threatening situation. And, just a reminder, make sure the sticker doesn't obscure the view of the insertion site. The details of whether it was an aseptic or emergency insertion needs to be added to the patient report form and given to the receiving nurse. If there is a failed insertion, the sterile dressing from the pack must be used to cover the wound. When removing the failed cannula, it's important to remove the needle fully from the device before removing the device itself. This ensures the safety mechanism engages to reduce the risk of needle stick injury. ANTT can be followed in many situations, for example in a patient's home. In other circumstances, follow as much of the ANTT as the situation allows. And always place dressings on wounds using a no-touch technique. 